Intel's upcoming ARC graphics cards will be based on the Alchemist XE HPG GPUs, which are all set to launch next year, and based on the specifications that we do have, we could be looking at some very competitive performance numbers against AMD and NVIDIA GPUs. Intel has stated that its first discrete graphics cards will hit retail in quarter one of 2022, which should allow Intel to supply gamers with graphics cards if NVIDIA and AMD are still struggling with manufacturing enough cards for everybody. 3D Center's list of specifications has given us an idea of the theoretical performance we could see from Intel's upcoming GPUs. Intel's ARC XE HPG Alchemist flagship will offer more TMUs and ROPs than either NVIDIA's or AMD's. The core count is set at 4096, which is higher than AMD's Navi 22 or Navi 21, specifically the RX 6800, but lower when compared to NVIDIA's GA104. Intel's ARC Alchemist GPUs have less ray tracing units than the competition, but we don't know exactly how the ray tracing implementation works. One example of this would be while Navi 22 does offer more ray tracing cores when compared to NVIDIA's GA106 Ampere GPUs, the hardware level integration within NVIDIA's ray tracing cores is superior in all regards to AMD's implementation. So the final performance of the ray tracing cores would depend heavily on Intel's hardware level integration and software level optimization for ray tracing applications. A major lead that Intel could have over the competition is AI assistance and super sampling technologies. Intel's GPUs could potentially outperform NVIDIA's Tensor Core implementation with its XMX architecture. Intel is also expected to feature a small game cache on its GPUs, which will be equipped with a higher VRAM capacity of up to 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM. This would be twice as much memory as Nvidia's RTX 3070 or RTX 3070 Ti. Based on these specifications, we're looking at an Intel graphics card that could end up being faster than AMD's Radeon RX 6700 XT or NVIDIA's RTX 3070 with ease. To have its first generations of graphics card be more accepted, Intel may end up offering more competitive prices than we've seen from other companies like AMD and NVIDIA. I think that Intel has a chance here to upset what is currently a two-company market and maybe even get some new and exciting graphics cards in the hands of gamers. What do you think? Will Intel's graphics card compete with AMD and NVIDIA? Let us know in the comments down below 